was going to be, can you do the honey honey dance or something like that? <gasps> no. No, I can't. I can't do it. Don't ask. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I, I wasn't really into it. Um, but I have to tell you, because um, you know as well as I do, that it's actually been a while since you asked me that question. And to this day, I can still remember the song. I can still remember the beat of it. And I kind of have to say, I think it's growing on me. I mean, I only really did give that one song a chance, so if you have another song by them that you really, really like and that you think I should listen to, then I will look up that one because maybe it's even better. But I don't know. Like, I'm not majorly in love with the song, but it, it, it has kind of grown on me since you mentioned them and since I looked them up. So I don't know. I could be a a fan in the making, I guess, but right now at this point, I'm gonna say I'm not a fan, but I, I don't know, Honey Honey is kind of growing on me, so I'm not gonna say I dislike it as much as I did initially, and I wish I could do the dance moves, but no, I can't, and I won't, sorry. Our second question comes from Kikio Chiha 35 and she asks, do you have any advice for an aspiring designer? No. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Sure, um, here I have some advice. Um, always keep drawing. That's, that's a huge one um, because your drawing skills are gonna be pretty important. I have worked with designers in actually the apparel industry, so clothing. And, um, some of them are awful. You can barely make out what they've drawn. So I'm not going to say that you have to be a ridiculous artist, but, um, as long as you can draw clearly enough that the people who are doing the nice artwork for you can understand it, then you don't have to be so, so sickly good at it. So if it really is your passion, but you're just not very good at drawing, at least become good enough to make your designs clear so that the people who will be doing the nice drawing for you, I mean, you'll have to hire people to do it. That's an expense you could otherwise avoid. But um, yeah, you just have to make sure that somebody can understand what you're doing so that they can make it look good. Um, that's actually what I did for a while when I graduated is I, uh, I worked doing that. That's one tip, is, is do practice your, your drawing. Um, one thing that a lot of people like to do is take inspiration from others, and that's totally fine. Um, everything really comes from somewhere. Everybody's inspired by something. Nothing's original anymore, so um, if you see something that you like and you want to use it, go for it, you know? I mean, but always make sure that you do give credit for those that you do get inspiration from because it's a great way to avoid um, arguments and it's a great way to avoid hassle and bad feeling is to give credit to someone who really has helped you. So if you got an idea from somewhere else, make sure that you credit that person and say, I thought of this through them. Always be on your 
best behavior with everybody. Do not have a pompous, stuck up attitude because the industry is so small and everybody knows everybody else. So if you get a bad reputation, you won't work. You will be unemployed and you're gonna have to go back to selling like underpants or something at a store. Like, so be very careful. Um, network, always network because again, a lot of jobs come from people you know and they're not advertised so meet everybody make a good impression on everybody um other than that always follow your instincts because if you're a designer then you'll have like an innate ability to um come up with stuff i've never in my life had designers block ever um every time i've had to come up with anything it's just instantly come to me so um if you can do that that's fabulous um, and another big one, which I never do, but is very helpful, is to look at what other designers are doing, because they honestly do set trends, and if you're doing wardrobe for a movie, or something, you really have to know what the designs of that time period are, because not everything you do is going to be made up entirely from your head. There's going to be a lot of times when you've got to pull from existing stuff, so you really need to have a keen understanding of of what was worn in that time period. Um, and last but not least, um, know that you're not always gonna be designing for your own personal interests. You're gonna have to design for other people's needs and other people's interests. So just because something is pretty to you does not mean that it's pretty to the majority. So you're gonna have to accept that and you're gonna have to be okay with that. It's not always gonna be what you like. It's It's gotta be what everybody likes, okay? So those are my tips to you and they're really good ones. So I hope you, hope you take them. Last but not least, our last question also comes from same person, please don't make me say your name again. <laughs> and she asks, were you in choir when you were in school? By the way, you have a really good voice. Happy smiley face. Thank you, you're very sweet. Um, I went to a lounge the other day where I heard a girl singing and she has such a better voice than I do. <laughs> it made me feel like crap, but um, she was horribly dressed and I really wanted to go up to her and say, please take my card, you look awful. Can you please? present yourself as pretty as your voice is, but there's no way to say that to somebody without her being absolutely offended and probably slapping me in the face, so I just didn't do it. Her loss, whatever. But um, to answer your question, um, no, I actually never took singing lessons, which is why I think I'm not as good as I could have been. Um, but um, I was never in choir, but when I was in high school, I did join the only version of choir that we actually had, which was music ministry, which basically means, well, I went to a Catholic high school, and um, we had music ministry, which sang the hymns, for the um, church that we had in school. And it was not my preferred music, but it was an opportunity to sing and it did offer some coaching. So, I mean, you, you take opportunities where you can get it. So I did that and it was okay. Like we had a lot of fun, but I never had any real classes and I, I didn't do like any intense choir, which I wish I had, but I mean, that just wasn't available to me at the time so you take what you can get and you you appreciate it so not really choir um i would have liked to but oh well right <laughs> so um thank you so much for the questions i hope you guys enjoyed them and i hope you guys enjoyed the answers and i will be back next month with another episode of ask a girl who can't define herself and next week with another episode of something i don't know what probably the weight loss update yeah, I think I need a trip to the gym right now. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Bye. I am a very stylish girl.